Inside the Ball State University greenhouses, the Wheeler Orchid Collection has a unique addition that many can view this week. Wheeler Orchid curator Cheryl LeBlanc announced last Friday that the Corianthes Orchid, or Bucket Orchid, was ending its long blooming process. Just the blooming part was about 15 hours for one flower. Um, the process from bud to fully open flower, it was weeks. LeBlanc says orchids require specific levels of heat, humidity, and water to flourish, which makes Ball State's blooming bucket orchid an even greater event. It's very unusual to have it in a greenhouse collection and even more so to have it in flower. So I wanted to share that with our, our viewers and come and enjoy. LeBlanc was able to purchase the orchid this year with grant money from the Mid-America Orchid Congress. LeBlanc says there are about 30 different kinds of bucket orchids in the Amazonian tropics. According to LeBlanc, the bucket orchid attracts male bumblebees. The bees not only pollinate the plant, but also increase their desirability to female bumblebees by slathering themselves in the juices of the orchid. The community interest in the rare flower was more than LeBlanc was expecting. She says people have been in and out the entire day with some professors even bringing their classes in for this once in a lifetime viewing opportunity. Today has been amazing, non-stop. As soon as I walk through the door, either phone calls or visitors, it's, it's really wonderful that people are curious and come by to see it. Orchid visitors like Lois Cosisco Lombardi are taken by the beauty of the flower. Just flabbergasted. I've never seen one like that and the intricacy of it all. Real nice to look at. LeBlanc says so much energy is used by the plant to maintain the flower, it will only last three or four days. However, the plant has another tight bud that LeBlanc is watching, so there will be another opportunity very soon to see the flower. In Muncie, I'm Jared Grigsby for TCOM 323.